Hello everyone, we're in Lambeg today for our devotional and just down to my right there's what used to be the old Coca-Cola factory here in the Lisburn area. It employed many many people and we used to come along for school field trips to it quite often and I loved it because you used to get lots of free souvenirs, uh, spinners if anybody was around in the 1980s, the Coca-Cola yo-yos, uh, notebooks and of course lots of coke to drink as well. And this statue beside me is Tom Robinson. He was responsible for starting uh, the Coca-Cola plant here in the Lisburn area many, many years ago. I think it was 1964 that the factory opened in this locality. It's since moved out uh, into the Knockmore area. But Coca-Cola as a business is one of the biggest industries really in the world. It's worth something like 200 billion US dollars. And it was started away back many, many years ago by John Stiff Pemberton. He was, a, he was a chemist by trade and he designed Coca-Cola uh, to be a, a medicine for stomach upsets. And I understand that if you drink flat Coke, if your stomach's a little bit upset, flat Coke is quite good for helping that. But a number of years after that, Asa Candler, who was another pharmacist, brought the business off John Stith Pemberton. Now, Isaac Candler was a Christian. He was a believer. He loved the Lord Jesus Christ. He was a very gifted businessman as well and a marketing genius. And it was through Isaac Candler that Coca-Cola began to flourish as a business. And during the time of prohibition in America, whenever alcohol was banned, Coca-Cola became a substitute for that and seals just spiraled and rocketed. And Isaac Candler, his motto for life was to put God first. Put God first. And friends, that's the challenge of living the Christian life. In Matthew chapter six and verse number 33, the Lord Jesus Christ said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added Onto you, and as he is a candler, put God first in his life personally, in his home affairs, and also in his business life. God honored him in a wonderful and in a remarkable way, so much so that he was able to give away millions and millions of dollars to the work of God. He funded a Wesleyan hospital, he funded a Methodist university. He gave away millions to missionary work and church plants and all sorts of different things. And he proved that principle of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse number 30. Them that honour me, I will honour. And back in those days, Isaac Handler, really the founder of the Coca-Cola industry, Christian man, Christian businessman, loved the Lord, gifted of God, who chose at one time in his life, I'm going to seek first, the kingdom of God. I'm going to put God first in all things. Can I challenge you today? Do you put God first in your life? Do you put God first in your home? Do you put God first in your private affairs? Do you put God first in your business affairs as well? Coca-Cola, nice drink to enjoy. But Isaac Handler, the founder of the business, was a Christian man who sought first the kingdom of God. May we do likewise. May God bless you and we'll see you next time.